this episode we've moved on from Port Broughton down to Port Hughes a little bit further down on the York Peninsula. Welcome back to another episode or if you're new here welcome to our channel. Uh, we are now in Port Hughes on the York Peninsula. Uh, Port Hughes uh, is a little town, it only has uh, a general store and a tavern here. Uh, mind you it is a lovely tavern, we went for dinner there for Chris's birthday earlier in the week which was very lovely. Um, and not far from uh, Port Hughes is a town called Moonta and Moonta is on what they call the Copper Coast and the Copper Coast um, is pretty much three town areas. Um, they, they being Kadena, Moonta and Wallaroo. Yeah. All very close together, probably no more than, uh, the whole triangle would probably be 40 kilometres. Yeah. Yeah, so um, copper was actually discovered in 1861. Um, uh, Captain Hughes had actually had uh, workers that he was hiring and he said to them he would pay them extra for incentive if they were searching for signs of copper and one of his um, uh, workers actually discovered copper and then there was a fight to get to Adelaide to actually make the claim. Um, his yeah. worker was trying to get the claim He's first. trying to cash in, yeah. Yeah, before Hughes, Captain Hughes did, but uh, as it turned out, Captain Hughes managed to get the rights to it um, and they actually mined the copper in Moonta for uh, over 60 years. Um, and yeah, we... we um, We'll do the uh, railway museum that's in Munta that um, uh, goes through the actual mine that they had there and um, will tell us some more information. But um, yeah, we'd uh, um, check around the area just over here from where we're sitting at the moment is the Port Hughes uh, jetty. Um, they have lovely jetties out here and just over a little bit further uh, is a park and there was people out there's actually is like a swimming beach here too which is um, quite nice. We'll, we'll put some footage up uh, about that we're gonna head into the uh, Moonta Mines area and have a look at the uh, go through the museum today. Yeah there's a there's a school museum there um, that used to have in its heyday up to 1100 students mm. um, at one time um, but they said mostly around 800 students with 300 teachers so uh, that's pretty amazing um, and yeah we'll go through that and then I believe across the road is a old lolly shop so we might have a look at that yeah, as well. It's funny just a little bit of uh, trivia for you the um, the mines the, the copper was first noticed by a shepherd thanks to wombat <laughs> yep uh, wombat barrow he noticed the greenish coloured rocks the wombat had dug up and the green is the copper traces so mm. that's how they uh -huh. sort of got to know that there may have been some copper so there you go all right, so um, yeah, we'll uh, go to the railway museum and and uh, show you around Port Hughes as well. But um, the railway museums in Munter, not far away. They're all very close. So yeah, we'll show you around and see what else we can find. See you then. Today we are actually going to go on the Munta Railway Heritage Line. Heritage Line? Yep. <laughs> yeah. We're in the Munta Heritage Mining um, area. It's a precinct of um, the original mines. Um, this is a big um, Cornish area. The Cornish, a lot of Cornish came, emigrated across to mine. 
Mm. So it's a, it's a huge um, Cornish, Cornish influence around this area. Yeah, they actually uh, have a Cornish festival yeah. every year. Which is um, huge, yeah. Yeah, so we're, we've bought a ticket uh, for the railway, which is $12 per adult and $5 per child school age. Under school age is free. Um, so we're just going to have a look around. Yeah, we're currently uh, standing here. in the... Uh, in the uh, railway station. Yeah. So we'll, we'll have, just a, look have a look around see. while we're waiting for the train. It's, the train ride takes about 50 minutes, so the first one just left, so we're just going to have a look around before we hop onto our ride. This little it's information boards here and across. Over there, that building out there was actually the old schoolhouse. And they said at the uh, peak, it had 1,100 students there in 1883. So that's pretty amazing. I believe the blacksmith is working today, so I'm not going to yeah, we'll have a look at the blacksmith. blacksmith shop. Yep. All right, we'll see you shortly. Developed a method to do this. If you look to the left, you can see the greenish blue stain on the rocks and on the ground. This is evidence of the natural leaching of the copper out of the tailings here.
Oh, yes, it is. Well, that um, train tour was fantastic, very informative. And um, for $12 a head, that was very worthwhile. Um, we don't met, do many paid things, but um, yeah, we're just going into the schoolhouse in the museum and having a look around. It's lasted well. <laughs> oh, we've got fish sticking out. Four kilos. Oh. Well, if they lifted it, did they win it? <laughs> no, I was just saying. Well, it says if the oh. copper was one, what does that mean? Well, they just found Got it. Got it out of the ground. Okay. <laughs> It's a lift that would travel down that. Oh. Yeah, 
<laughs> the old one with the lawn bowls. Can you believe that? Right on the bottom. Yeah. Sold it, the tiny, tiny, tiny oh one. Oh my god. That looks like a Bible. Let me see what it is. Johnny Walker. Can you imagine writing small enough to write in? What about the little notepad? <laughs> Most important book in your life. British Foreign Bible Society donation box.
So they have the Odd Fellows, Ancient Order of Druids, Independent Order of Retchabites, Ancient Order of Foresters. Interesting. See this? This is what the guy has been doing in the last few years. Goes to show that he's picking away at this, you know, wasn't it? Actually, what? Yes. Yeah. 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 So we have a um, pamphlet here that it's the Munta Historical Town Drive. So we're just um, just going to show a few buildings so just tell us the um when they were built so the first one is the town hall which was built in 1885 which is this one yeah, yeah. so that is the first one and next one we'll be coming to is the Queen Square which was 1897 which is just up the road so we'll come back shortly. Okay so this one is the Row of Cottages. The Row of Cottages was built in 1865. On we go. So we've just um, popped over to um, this area here which is uh, an RV overnight stop area it actually says you can stay for three nights um, and I believe it's a free camp um, I think I think or maybe a donation oh there might be a donation box to stay. Donation box? Yep. Yep. Donation, yeah. Yeah. So. Self contained vehicles only. Okay. Which is a bit strange because this guy here is. <laughs> they might end. Okay, they've got campers in here as well. But yeah, you have to be self contained. Leave no trace. Um, it's like, quite large. Yeah, it goes a fair, fair way. I don't want to be kind of too much. Yeah, it's actually uh, a huge it's area. Big area. Yeah, to camp up in. Um, We've got a dump point, which is just here. Is it? In this uh, area. Oh yeah. Yep. I don't know if that's the actual dump point. There is a dump point here though. Mm. But um, yeah, there you go. I, I don't want to film people's. Camping places, but um, just thought we'd uh, show where this uh, low cost camping is in Minta if that's what you so wish to do. This uh, building here, which one? Is it? This one, that one? One across the road. So, this building. Was built in 1878. Uh, we're not going to do the entire track because I can't follow a map to save myself. But we'll just get yeah, thought would show a lot, a few of the buildings around here. Uh, but pretty much, yeah, early 1800s. There's a lot of history here. 
um, nice to see, but, and we've got the, um, what's it called, the Queen Square Park here. fascinating just driving around looking at the um, the old buildings that um, yeah coming up on the right we'll go around the corner and stop out the front of it it's um, it was originally a church which didn't do too well sat vacant for a while then the South Australian government bought it and turned it into the first school of the mines which turned into the precursor to TAFE the modern TAFE so this building is here on our right now So that was the uh, the granddaddy of uh, TAFE colleges as we know them today. So everything starts from something. Yeah. Yes. And very very interesting. And apparently we're talking to a lovely lady. I think believe her name's Suzanne at the. Um, the school museum that was next to the railway station and uh, she was saying that we're talking about you know Moonta was actually as large as Adelaide at one stage and they were nearly going to have Moonta as the capital of South Australia um, obviously didn't happen but yeah absolutely fascinating lady and um, full of knowledge so um, I mean for eight dollars a person to go through that museum was absolutely well worth it and it was um, fascinating, yeah, history. fascinating history so uh, yeah definitely worthwhile um, if you happen to come to Moontown.